Oh, I didn't get enough sleep. I got home about one o'clock from that big wing ding in Albuquerque. And I thought I'd better vlog about it right away or otherwise I would forget. And then the vlog ended up a little extra complicated because I added pictures and had to edit some stuff out. Then I had to wait for it to cook on the PC. <coughs> and I thought, what the hell, in for a penny, in for a pound. So when I hadn't uploaded it, and amazingly, it uploaded rather quickly, I still should have gone to sleep. By the time I went to sleep, it was 5 o'clock this morning. 8, 8 o'clock, raised dogs were outside screaming. So I've had no sleep since. Ah, very productive morning. And then my ex came by. She was in Albuquerque for a meeting and stuff. And she had some time to kill, so she came out here. And we drove the truck into Albuquerque. She filled my tanks. I have two gas tanks. She filled my gas tanks for me. You know what this means, don't you? It means I can go back to Albuquerque for um, some other social events and to go apartment hunting. I'm also starting to network with some people on FetLife. And I talk here. And I think that um, from the responses I'm getting and what I see of people's profiles and stuff, I think that I've found a very nice community of people. And I think that I'm really pleased with the moral support. And hopefully they might have some leads on places to live where I won't have to be afraid of the landlord's prejudice and um, dictatorial totalitarian cat hair. I want to do a justice. To the conversation that my ex and I had today. I won't do it in this video. I need to um, process. And I'm, I'm way too tired. I do want to. Um, it was Christmas today. I want to show you. Uh, you can sometimes, not right now, but sometimes behind me you can see my little raggedy ass speakers. Those were given to me by an independent radio producer that I used to work for and associate with. And the rheostat on the volume knob is messed up and when you try to turn the volume up and down, one or the other of the speakers will cut out. And it's a pain in the butt because half the time I listen to YouTube videos going, what? And I think it's their mic and it turns off. So, whoop. I'm not saying they're good speakers, but when you do radio production, you shouldn't use too good equipment or like noise reduction headphones and stuff. You shouldn't do that. You know why? You want to hear it play back the way normal people are going to hear it in their car or in their house. So that way you can see if the levels are set to the point where people can hear the bass at the same time they hear somebody talking, at the same time they hear the chorus whatever you know to so make sure you've mixed it well for real sound conditions um so that was but i do need because these buzz and they're just so these are just el cheapos from big lots but i bet they both work and i bet the volume rheostat works and stuff like that there i'm too tired to put them in tonight i'm too tired because it involves climbing up there and banging my head on the ceiling and ha ah, uh Two people have suggested that I should have one of these so that when I make a video on the netbook, I can put it on this, bring it over to the PC where I've got a much better editing system, plus it can hold more. So that, but sometimes I like to do stuff on the netbook. For instance, I can take this camera, put it on that netbook, plug it into the cigarette lighter of the truck out in the country and I can make videos that aren't uh, arm's length from the camera so I can, or in the kitchen. I can go out in the world and make videotapes. Uh, and then I have to tell you a tragedy. The last time I made a video from the uh, webcam, the little eye that's built into the netbook in the kitchen, I tried to hold a pot of water up close to the camera 
so you could see the mineral deposits on the pot. I spilled water on the keyboard, and I screwed up the L key. And unfortunately, the password to my netbook is Nilly, which is my little nanny goat. Um, my ex put the um, password in, and she figured that would be a word that I would remember. It has two L's, and the L key doesn't work. So I haven't been able to get in my netbook for over a week. Well, I discussed it with a friend, and my friend suggested that, duh, I need a wireless keyboard. And it's heavy. So this is for the netbook because it's got a blue mouse, and the blue mouse will match the netbook. Now, the netbook's already got a wireless mouse, but now I'm going to have an extra wireless mouse. And this PC, as you know, I have a wireless mouse, but then I have this thing, which is currently wrapped around my elbow, and the cord is hanging from cat hair. The cord is hanging from the sky. She volunteered. I didn't ask. I just asked for a wireless keyboard, girls and boys, so that I could get into my netbook, take the password out. So I now have this one. See, this used to be a mouse and keyboard unit, but the keyboard got screwed up somehow. So I've been having to use a wired keyboard. So now I'm going to have a wireless keyboard and mouse here too. So what that means is, you know, it's a little USB thing that you plug in. What that means is when I'm using one, I need to unplug the USB thing from the other one because they may be on the same frequency. <coughs> which my ex knew, because my ex is a stone geek. I really like geeky women. Okay, but then this was excessive use of credit card. I'm not complaining. But I'm going to have to pay her back for all this, you realize. Just for the hell of it, when we were at, um, 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 um Big Lots, they have really cheap movies. Look what I got. Do you know this movie? If you don't, look it up. Oops, I'm trying to, I'm tilting it all wrong. It's a science fiction movie about um, people from uh, another civilization, an extraterrestrial civilization, and how tr shitty they were treated in South Africa. This she saw, and she, being a geek, uh, she, what did I do with that thumb drive? No, what was it? Um, being a geek, she said, ooh, 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 and being in radio, ooh, 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 this, if you have a cassette player, you can convert it to operate like a CD player. Well, my truck has a cassette player in it. All my cassettes got lost in one of the times that I got um, robbed and forced to move. All of them. My old air checks, those are Recordings of your radio broadcast and stuff. Hold on. Recordings of women's music conference concerts from before the days of Olivia Records 40 years ago. Lesbian talent shows. Lectures by uh, a dear friend of mine who's a Unitarian Universalist minister in Kentucky. All of it's gone. My whole cassette library got lost. So did my um, VCR tapes. Uh, so, uh, so I'm not going to be playing any cassettes anytime soon. So, well, this would plug into a CD player if you had one. So, I don't have a CD player. I do now. So, I can, um, finally listen to music in the truck. But she just did this, you know. Filled up the gas tank. Bought me all these little things. It's freaking Christmas, man. Needless, we had a very long conversation about M today and about our relationship, and I'll do it justice. I know some really wonderful women. I have good taste. So I'm back in the saddle again with my electronics, and I'm cold. And um, we spent the whole day together. It was just like old times. Just two buddies out goofing. It was good. It was good. It was. 
I'm proud of both of us. Okay, so I'm alive and well. And so are the dogs who had to be in the back of the truck and were like, oh, boo-hoo, we can't sit in the front seat. Oh, we stopped at Powdrill's Barbecue. Mr. Powdrill was such a wonderful man. I knew him at the shop on the east end of town on um, Old Route 66, Central Avenue. Um, I would pop in there because I lived on that side of town. He'd be there frequently. He had an African-American History Museum. African-American... Uh, New Mexico history. Cowboys. His barbecue is excellent. Wheezy. He's so old school that his family is Republican, as in um, going dating back to Abraham Lincoln freeing the slaves. That's how old school his family is. Well, he died not long ago, and we were at the shop, and we got a little quarter pound thing of Barbecued chicken, diced cube chicken in that. Oh, you should taste this barbecue sauce. And it, it's smoked meat, you know. It's ambrosia. It's heaven. If there is a heaven, it's Mr. Powdrell's barbecue. Well, I was walking around outside while my um, ex is inside ordering the chicken and I came around the corner and there's a big sign that faces out to the main road uh, for Powdrill's barbecue and right in the middle is this little like a family crest it's a picture of Mr. Powdrill with his beard and his cowboy hat and I just burst into tears really nice man well we went to one on the east side of town not that that's important it's an old funeral home big beautiful brick building and very full of antiques and very country looking, you know. So we went to Powdrills and we got a little thing, a little quarter pound of cube chicken. And then we went to the Golden Crown Panaderia, the place I went last night. And we split a pizza with blue corn, oh man, blue cornmeal um, 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 crust because she can't eat wheat flour. She has celiac disease. makes her very sick. And we got it topped with uh, cheese and green chili. And then one side was uh, sausage for me. And I put a little bit of that barbecued chicken on it. And we shared a, um, a little handmade lemon pastry. It's a rolled up tube of puff pastry with lemon filling in it. And when it cooked, of course, it swelled way up kind of like a weird little cannoli with lots of powdered sugar on top. When I walked in, I told my ex, last night when I got a personal pizza here, they didn't give me any bizcochitos. Bizcochitos are these little cinnamon co Oh, Look up a recipe for bizcochitos. They're not just cinnamon. They're anise. And they're a traditional Christmas cookie. And he gives them, gives you a couple of them when you order anything, any lunch food menu or supper menu. And I didn't get any yesterday and I just happened to mention it to my ex. Well, out came this pizza ringed in bizcochitos. We used to do that all the time. Just walk from our house and go over there and have a pizza and some Mexican Coca-Cola. There's a whole discussion on the internet about Mexican Coca-Cola. You can go look at it yourself. It's made with real cane sugar. It's made the way Coca-Cola used to be made in this country before high fructose corn syrup was discovered. So um, we shopped and we talked and we teased each other and we, I told her all about him. All about him. Things I'll never tell you. And my ex gets it. And my ex is already helping me plan to move to England. Well, by then you ought to have the house trailer pretty much paid off. So you could sell the house trailer and that could be your plane ticket. 
And you won't be done paying off the truck yet, but you can just give me the truck back. That's all right. <coughs> and if you need any extra money that you paid into the truck, that's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll give you that money so you can set up things. And, you know, I think you're right. I think I have um, Asperger's Syndrome, she said. I think that explains a lot about because she can be so unengaged she doesn't mean to hurt people but sometimes she's she even says this herself she feels like she's a cybernetic organism and she just doesn't quite for instance last night I was at that thing she was there she was in town and if she told me, we could have gone to this thing together because she would have loved it. She does improv comedy. And then we could have gone to the Panaderia last night. So she was in Old Town this morning. And I'm like, oh, three and a half years we did this dance of almost sinking and then just missing each other because of bad communication. Not bad communication. Um, unpracticed communication. We just didn't know how to talk with each other. And there was so much resentment. So we worked it all out. I don't need to make a second video. We worked it all out. She's completely supportive. She was at first really skeptical about M. Um, and I explained some things about the different ways of communicating. And she got it. Completely understood. Ask really insightful questions. So I know she got it. Um, thinks it's a good idea. Really supports the whole taking care of myself thing. And the, of course she had to add, and you're going to quit smoking too, aren't you? Because I had to smoke outdoors all the time. She hates cigarettes. Worst fight we ever had involved a cigarette. Uh, she said, well, you know, you don't have to get your teeth fixed until you go over there because they have good dental over there. I said, yes, I know. And Emma's even pretty much implied that, too, that there are ways to communicate physically without kissing. I'm a real oral gal, and I'm tired of waiting to be able to kiss. I never kissed my ex on the mouth. She gassing up the truck today. I said, you know, there's another reason why I need to get dental care before I go to England. She said, yeah, what's that? And I said, I need to kiss you goodbye, and I need to do it properly. amazing women in my life. A couple of pretty radical men, too. But stone cold, amazing, kick-ass, courageous, tough, brilliant, big-hearted women. I'm a lucky gal. And now I have new toys. Geeks always buy you the best, coolest stuff, don't they? Woohoo! <laughs>